What's up guys? I wanted to go over some of the things you're going to need for your own hydroponic system. First thing is a container, whether it's a jar or a five gallon bucket or storage tote. Just try to go for food grade one and avoid colors like what I did here. You don't want orange, you want to go for black or white, something like that. Then you got your net cups. Got a two inch, a three inch, and a five inch. The five inch I use for bigger plants like tomatoes and peppers. The two inches are for like herbs and small lettuces. They're sitting on rock wool, which is an excellent growing medium and seed starting uh, medium as well. You got your pH up, pH down, and this kit came with uh, another way of testing the pH level in your water. Or you can go the digital way and get a digital pH meter along with the TDS meter which tells you your parts per million and this one in particular also tells you the temperature of the water in the tank. You got your different size hole saws for uh, cutting holes in the top of the container for the net cups. This kit goes all the way up to five inches. You got your drill. Then you got your air pump. Now I already went over different air pumps in another video but one thing I forgot to mention is stones. Try to get a bigger stone than this one. This one doesn't really put out a lot of air. Next up is the current mixture that I'm using which is CalMag, Master Blend and Epsom Salt and Calcium Nitrate. Now one thing to mention real quick is do not mix these all together keep this one separate. The calcium nitrate you want to keep separate. And when I mention jars, yes, it's possible to grow things out of jars. You just put your storage solution inside the container and try to keep your water level right about there when the roots just get started. I mean, you don't want to drown the roots, so keep your water level underneath the roots, but still want the roots in the water. Now, what I have in this container is grow stones. You can also use clay pebbles, whatever is available to you, whatever you're more comfortable with. There's a whole bunch of different growing mediums out there, so take your pick. We'll go over those in a different video. And yeah, that's the basic things that you're gonna need, minus the lights. Now, I chose not to include the lights in this video just because there's so many different things when it comes to lighting. I mean, like cost and um, yeah, cost is pretty much the big one. So I'll make a separate video later on about that. Until then, see you guys later. Here's a sneak peek at this aeroponic setup that I just finished putting together. Got a bunch of different herbs growing out of this thing right now gonna go ahead and shoot a video for you guys showing you guys how I made this and the difference between this and the hydroponic setups. Take care.